What is up guys, Power Bang here, coming to you live, bringing you the result of the Clantanamo Bay WHF 50 versus 50, 100 player war that went down this weekend. Uh, WHF got the upper hand in this one, GG's to uh, Clantanamo Bay, awesome war to you guys. Uh, it was a lot of fun. That being said, our 11s, uh, we didn't quite get any 11v11 triples, we got close on a couple. And our 10s, we, we didn't have the greatest war there either, so what I want to do today is focus on the Town Hall 9 play. And we saw some some uh, super queen and some queen walking that is not necessarily the most common thing to see anymore. We're seeing more like suicide hero type attacks and triple golem attacks, which just doesn't leave the room uh, for those healers. So let's scroll down here. Um, we'll start off with uh, number 29 here, Dan Howe taking on C. Driv. He's bringing the queen walk here, starting from, I believe he comes from the south in this raid. Let's see here. Fast forward it. Nope, not this raid. Where in the heck is he at? Okay, wizard over there on the left. There's the queen. She's going to take out a couple of those buildings on the outer portion of this base. And it looks like she's going to be going right at the queen in just a moment here. So good use of his queen. He's going to get a nice swap here. Poison spell down to slow down the damage. So that's looking pretty good. Ability used. And continuing on with walk at this point. So not too shabby at all. Going to fast forward a little bit through this walk portion of it. And she's going to go around the outside. So 26 hog riders are in the camps here. And you can see he's going to be trimming the other side of the base with the king and some wizards. So uh, king on king action. Man, this is this hero versus hero stuff in this raid. Uh, so there we go. King is down. And now the queen continues around this base. Now what, what I kind of see about this base is it's like it's pretty sparse. It's spread out. Like there's a lot of stuff outside the walls. Uh, and the only thing really inside the walls are defenses. So it's kind of an easy base for the Hog Riders to get through, assuming they have enough spells. And they've got a three heal spells right now to get them through. So here we go, Hog Riders. And he basically sends in almost like a two-finger drop here. Gets a couple to the expo. Make sure that they path in there so that it does go down. And at this point, oh yeah, trickling in the CC Hog Riders as well. You see those red gavels there. And then they cruise their way through the backside of this base. You can see a couple wizard towers here focusing on him. But he's got so many hogs, he's still sending them in from the backside. Three more archer towers left to go, and that is pretty much it. The hogs are going to be able to cruise through this one. The queen's still up on the far side of the map, so really good use of the, uh, the archer queen uh, to help with the cleanup. The cleanup's pretty much already done. The only thing left is the hogs have to get in get that uh, clan castle taken care of, but that is pretty much it. Doesn't use the poison, doesn't use a couple of wizards. Hey, we'll take it. So Dan Howe getting it done versus C Drib. We got some more uh, queen walk, queen charge, super queen, whatever you want to call it. It is on its way right now. Amana Mudi coming at this base. He's got a four healer attack from the left here. Uh, it's going to be on a level 29 queen. And you can see he's bringing hog riders as well. And notice when you see a very few amount of hog riders, uh, that typically means there's going to be a charge of some sort. So in we go to the base here in just a moment. There's a jump spell to help get him in, but two golems as well. You got two golems that's going to help create a nice funnel as well as get a whole big chunk of the base taken out. So the queen steps in, locks out of the town hall, getting that ever important star, and she is going to get that taken out. We'll fast forward through that portion of it because we all know that's going to, to happen. So there it is. She's down and now starts to beat through the wall. So that's kind of convenient. Um, looks here, the, the baby dragon finishing up some funneling. We should see golems go down any minute there at the top. There we go. They come into the mortar on the outside of this base, and he just trails in his king and wizards again. Uh, it's pretty common that you're seeing that king followed up by a couple of wizards. They take out a whole lot of stuff as long as the king is alive. So bowlers in from the top to support the king. And there is that jump spell on the junction there, and those bowlers are going to take out the gold mine, hop the wall, get into the base, and this is where you know that rage spell is going to come in handy. Everything just kind of getting wrecked at this point. Uh, bad giant bomb there does get a few of his bowlers, which was not ideal, but check this out. 
Queen is still working her way through that section up there. She did take out the enemy CC. Looking good though so far. You're going to have Queen versus Queen here in just a moment. Pops the ability, takes her out in a couple of shots. And then in come the Hogs from the right side. Now, he sent all of them in the same area for the main reason that he can get two heals off on this group of Hog Riders. And if he's got them all grouped up, the heals will hit all of the hogs, and he doesn't really have to worry about them too awful much. So uh, we've got a four Tesla farm external outside the base down here. This is a pretty tricky one, to be honest with you. It looks like it may claim his hogs, especially with that giant bomb down there. Really nice setup on the base, to be honest. Uh, Kid Kidirid. I don't know. Kid Kidirid. I'm, I'm just I'm making that up. But yeah, nice base, dude. Uh, actually, it was pretty cool little Tesla farm outside the, the walls down there. Uh, got the Hog Riders taken care of, but it didn't stop the Queen. So the Queen's going to finish things up. That's the value of the Queen, guys. You can keep her up, keep her alive, maybe give her one Rage spell. Um, as you've seen in the last couple of raids, she can do some serious damage. So next up, we're going to take a look at Mike Wu Joe going in on the greatest here. And he has got a similar attack. You notice he's got a couple of wall breakers to get him in through the first layer of walls, a jump spell to get him deep, and he's also got the rage spell there for his kill squad. Probably going to see the bowlers help out once again. Queen is deciding which way to go. There she is, taking out the wizard tower, going to head right down the side of the wall here. Uh, enemy archer queen all the way on the far side of the base, so you know this is going to have to be a pretty big push. Uh, it looks like the queen is going to avoid the core, though. Big reason for doing that, guys, is to make sure that you're avoiding the Lava Hound if one exists in the CC. Typically, uh, if a base is scouted at Town Hall 9, this is something that you'll see often, is the queen piecing out and going around. Now, in this case, there is no Lava Hound, and he overloads the, the kill squad here with wizards. So the wizards go in... No giant bombs that they had to worry about since it was already taken care of. Uh, the wizards take care of the CC. So, queen going around. I mean, that that's one of those things. Like, if it's a lava hound, there's no risk to sending the queen around. If there's something else in the CC, it's a risk. But at the same time, uh, he did a pretty good job there taking that out. And now it's just bonus. It's extra value going around the outside of the base with the uh, archer queen. All about the hogs at this point. So hogs coming in from the bottom left. They're going to be uh, helped out by the top here on this archer tower. You're going to see this uh, any moment. Probably going to wait for this queen to attract some more fire. You see how these buildings here are firing at the queen. Well, that's helpful because those hogs need a little bit of cover. So king is down. Now it's all about the queen to provide some help. There is one heal spell left. But that is a lot of uh, firepower there on the top side of this base. So he's going to have the queen help him out. And then probably once he gets down to three defenses left, maybe a fourth, depending on time here. Here comes the hogs. There they go. Heal spell should be early. There it is. Saves all of his hog riders here. Uh, he does lose one of them. They hop the wall here. Perfect. They go to uh, the archer tower for the most part. And we are good to go. Holy crap. The sun is arising, people. Holy cow. Is it really that time? Um, all right, so Mike Wujo pushing through. He's got the rest of this thing in hand. Queen Walk. Getting it done, man. Getting it done for sure. Like the uh, the CC kill on this one using the Wizards. Not common, but hey, if you can do it and pull it off, it, it can work. Next up, we've got 45 JL. He's also bringing the Queen Walk. And again, this time you're going to see two Golems and a deep push, but check the Quad Quake out. So right at that center junction, I don't know what it is that he saw there. It's, it's an eight tile quake, but you see that and it's like, oh snap, that's a pretty vulnerable base because you can kind of come in at the top, you can come in, uh, you know, down at the bottom. I mean, just really push through the entire base. So he's gonna come in from the right side here and work his way through the queen to start this raid off. So as she steps up, she will be uh, targeted here by the enemy queen. And then I wonder if he'll have to use an ability at all. Yep. Pops the ability. That's okay. 12 hog riders, though, are going to be the, the back in force here to help clean this raid up. Um, it looks like the golems coming in from the top right there are going to target that compartment with the dark barracks. And then get, look for that deep push into the base. So queen working her way down the bottom right. And again, staying away from the core, having the, the kill squad kind of on their own, you're going to see bowlers come out of the CC most likely. And it does look like the uh, the first wall breaker comes down 
unfortunately targets the cannon. There we go. Now we're coming from downtown. Wallbreakers go to open up the wall. And unfortunately, didn't quite get it done. He had one wallbreaker target the wrong spot, and the next one got hit by a giant bomb. So he does get through. Rage fell down. Watch this base just crumble at this point. Craziness, dude. Bowler's doing absolute work in there. It looks like the, the wizard tower up on the front side was missed. That's okay. They can come back for it. A couple hogs can take that out as well. Hogs are already going from the top of the base, and they are just basically taking out everything that is distracted by the kill squad. Really good timing on all of that to, to utilize the cover that the kill squad provides. Lava Hound does pop out of the CC. Wizards actually took that out, but the wizard, this hero right here, is taking out all of these pups. He don't care. They're trying to take out the army, but that wizard is having none of it. So, nice work to the wizard. It looks like the Hog Riders are going to finish up taking out the wizard tower. And that is that. So, nice work to JL. We've got one more uh, queen walk that I'd like to show you guys today. All Town Hall 9 action today. Um, I know you guys are always clamoring for Town Hall 9, so we'll make sure we show that. Um, let's see. 46 here. Nox Skywalker going in uh, to take out Meng Dek. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. It just seems like one of those that says pronounce me wrong. Anyways, bottom left, here comes the queen. Maxed out uh, queen walk here. And you can see what he's trying to do right off the bat. There's openings in the walls that's going to lead right to a couple of air defenses. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. So, nice work on that. Looks like the queen is going to start, I mean, just take... Really nice pathing on this, taking out all these defenses on the outside first rather than going straight at the funnel. Going to get so much more value that way and then ultimately get in there to clear out the, the primary objectives that you're looking to do anyways, which happen to be the air defenses in there. So that's really key. Uh, it's probably going to be able to get the queen after some time here. Three rage spells to go with this attack. He can use probably one, maybe two for the queen walk. And then the rest, uh, all of that's going to go for the air. So the first rage spell is going to come down here. CC going down, guys. CC going down. All right, so there it is. Continuing on with the walk. Second air defense is down at this point. And he backs up that queen with a, uh, the help of a wizard here just to kind of speed things along. Locking onto that uh, that town hall at this point. And here we go. Nice one. Uh, that was a nice single balloon. It actually soaked up an air mine there in that compartment. So that saved his healers um, so they can continue on with this charge. <laughs> All right, so he didn't get both the mines, though. He did lose one of the healers. Dang, it was a good try. I think he tried to get both of them there. Here comes the king breaking in. He's going to get some uh, nice value there for the king. And there is the second rage spell. Really good deployment there on the balloons by Nog. So he targets all of these buildings, kind of sweeping his way through. Only a couple of uh, air targeting defenses left, and they both happen to be air defenses. So, hey, spell in for those, and the balloons are gonna get it done. So, really nice work on the attack here. Um, WHF showing off some queen walk action this war. We did get the victory 138, 131 over Clantanamo Bay. Again, good game, guys. And uh, really, geez louise, look at all the balloons left over in this raid. Holy crap. Count on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I think he has all but like two left over. Impressive raid to say the least. Swag spells all around. Nog, good one to end on, my friend. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode today. Wanted to guys, uh, show you guys the queen walk, which is it's definitely not dead. It's just something we haven't seen a whole lot on the channel recently. Um, but it's still alive and well, and you can use it to tear apart bases just like the guys did here. So nice work to the uh, guys over at Clintanimo Bay. Um, proud of the dudes at WHF for getting the win this weekend. It was a fun 50 v 50 but that's all I got for this episode, guys. Smack the like button if you would. I will be back tomorrow, or maybe even later today, with some more mobile gaming videos. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I don't know if it's going to be a Brawl Stars video or a Clash of Clans video, but we will see. I'll see you guys soon.